17 strangest animals kept as pets. Cuteness overload. Keeping a fennec fox as a pet seems to be taking off in popularity, and it's easy to see why. They are absolutely adorable. They're smaller than cats and highly intelligent. They can be house trained to use a litter box, are pretty playful, and need lots of exercise. Not safe for kids. People are known to keep spiders and snakes at home, but scorpions are catching on and can cost around $20 to $50 for one. These exotic pets require expert handling and care for obvious reasons, but once you've set up their ideal environment, then they pretty much care for themselves. Pull my finger. It's hard to believe, but there are some people who keep skunks for pets. It seems quite cruel as the scent glands of the skunk are actually surgically removed before going to someone's home. Apparently, they can be house trained, but they're tricky to feed and are at a risk of picking up rabies. Bringing back memories. You might have done this as a kid, keeping silkworms as pets, stealing mulberry leaves from the neighbors, the excitement of watching them eat, grow, make cocoons and then turn into moths and then starting the process all over again. Every kid should experience this at least once. A little human intervention. Jessica was just a newborn hippo when she got washed ashore after a flood in South Africa. A game ranger picked her up and nursed her back to health. Jessica drinks 10 liters of coffee a day and became the family pet. She wasn't able to adapt back in the wild and enjoys her life playing with the family's dog, wandering around the house and even occasionally jumping on the bed, which has broken several times. Jessica has become famous, but another farmer in South Africa that had a pet hippo called Humphrey was sadly killed by the hippo. Not your average pet. A person keeping these as pets might find they have less friends all of a sudden. Cockroaches. The Madagascar hissing cockroach, the death's head cockroach, and an Indian domino cockroach are the more popular choices. They're not your regular kind of roach though. They're bigger and much better looking. They're pretty docile, easy to look after, and you don't have to take them for walks. My kind of pet. A dog in sheep's clothing. The sheep has no idea that it's a sheep, but actually thinks it's a dog. His name is Nick Boeing, and it was during a visit to the Goldcliff Nature Reserve in Wales that the Palmer family found Nick as a newborn bleating in the grass. They tried to leave the lamb behind, but it wouldn't stop following them. The lamb went home with him and now enjoys a life as one of the most spoiled sheep in the world. Into the Wild a fairly new addition to unusual pets is the southern Taimandua, also known as the ant bear. It's basically an ant eater but won't be effective at removing ants if they're a problem for the owner, as their diet is so much more than just ants. They love to tear things apart and many owners have gotten fed up at the constant destroying of items on their property. Best to leave these beautiful animals in the wild where they belong. Great addition to the tank. These little chaps are called axolotls, and they're a type of salamander. They come from Mexico and are sold for around $20 each. They come in various colors and can regenerate their limbs if needed. Especially good if you have biters in your tank. They can get quite big, so you need a larger tank and are pretty forgiving when it comes to the type of water they're based in. This little piggy went to market. One of the cuter, unusual pets to have must be the dwarf pig. They are pretty costly, anything from $750 right up to $3,500 for one. It seems to be a bit of a status symbol to own one, but there is a huge backlash against it, as many breeders use unscrupulous methods to keep them small. Many owners have been duped and bought these tiny guys only for them to grow into monster-sized pigs. Cute or cruel? Over in Australia, smaller breeds of kangaroos are becoming popular as pets. Sadly, the death toll of them as pets is quite high, as these guys need massive amounts of space to run around in, and they need places to hide, which is part of their nature. They also regurgitate their food, salivate a lot, and constantly lick their paws. One can cost as much as $3,000, and you really have to be committed to it if that's the road you choose to go down. You have goat to be kidding me. Hard to believe it, but pygmy goats are also kept as pets. 
They are super high maintenance and very active. They're noisy, need constant company, need space and lots of food. They're great at escaping, so be prepared for that too. On the positive side, they are fun animals and great with children. Oversized Poodle That's what llamas look like. If you have a farm, these animals are very gentle and soft-natured, making for great companions. They are pretty clean animals, low maintenance and quite friendly. Crazy Cat Lady Cat lovers and crazy cat ladies will love this exotic pet. Gennets have been around since the Middle Ages and were used to help control the rodent problems. Captive breeding has transformed these cat-like creatures to become sweet and quite easy to care for. They still have predatory instincts, so shouldn't be kept around birds or smaller animals. Rocket in your pocket Super gliders are just super to look at and really great for the entire family. Cute, cuddly and tiny, what more could you ask for? One thing to note, they are nocturnal, so be prepared for fun and games in the middle of the night. An unusual family member Many owners of hedgehogs say that the moment you get your own pet hedgehog, you will bond with it like you do with a baby. They are exceptionally adorable looking, and those spines only stiffen when they are feeling threatened. They are easily compared to hamsters in their docile, easy to care for behavior, but do need a lot more interaction with their owners. You can buy them for around $75 up to $250, depending on age and temperament. Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous Tigers, cheetahs and lions are some of the animals kept as pets by the super wealthy over in the UAE. Cheetahs traveling in sports cars and even owners swimming with their lions. They are generally bought as cubs which means the mothers are often killed in the wild and the cubs smuggled into the UAE. Claws and teeth are clipped and filed down, and often these animals do not get the proper care they need. The only law in Dubai at the moment regarding exotic animals as pets is that you have to register them and keep them on a leash at all times when in public. Which of these exotic animals would you most like to have as a pet? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more intriguing videos just like this. Thanks for watching.